Hello and welcome to the first ever Digital Events Awards broadcasting live from Aztec Studios. Now, 12 months ago, this event and its associated magazine, Digital Event News, hadn't even been conceived. Oh, sure, we'd heard about these mythical digital events, and but all, what did it mean? Surely we thought they'd never catch on. Well, here we are 12 months hence, and I think it's safe to say we were fantastically wrong. The shortlist today represent only the tip of the iceberg that is the variety of digital expertise. The vast majority of entries represent more than just immediate client engagement, but rather represent an industry faced with the Herculean challenge of needing to connect people with people, all while unable to leave their homes. Now, these entrants had to think on their feet. They had to work with their clients to understand their business needs, who themselves probably didn't even know what they needed. They've had to rethink their entire strategy, what they offer, the skills they need. And they did all this against the backdrop of unprecedented economic uncertainty. And as I'm sure you'll agree, they've done rather well. Now, at this juncture, I think it's customary to thank our headline sponsors, Showcase, iVent, Collaborate Global and Cirque Data. You may have noticed in the opening presentation there that iVent, Showcase and Collaborate Global have supplied prizes for this afternoon. They're going to support the networking this afternoon within the awards room, so make sure you engage with your peers, chat in the chat function and have video calls. And we'll let the winners know who they are once we've got the results. And now I'd like to hand you over to someone far more qualified and certainly far funnier to host these awards. Our host today is a multi-award winner herself, with appearances on such well-known shows such as Mock the Week, Live at the Apollo, Celebrity Mastermind, to name but a few. She's most recently been seen on our screens hosting BBC Two's quickfire quiz, Lightning. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome, please, for Zoe Lyons. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much, Martin. Welcome to the Digital Events Awards. I am very, very glad to be here. Uh, I can only imagine I've been chosen to present such prestigious awards uh, in, in the world of digital uh, because of my superior technology uh, knowledge. Uh, myself, actually a very proud owner recently of a VHS recorder, so I like to think of myself as indeed cutting edge. It's amazing to be here at the beautiful Aztec Studios. I'm just happy, to be honest, to be out of the house. Uh, I know you are watching from your homes, over a thousand of you. Hello, and I hope you're enjoying your sofas. I'm delighted to be out of, at my home for the first time in quite a long time. In fact, this is probably the first time in several months that I'm wearing stuff that isn't made of elasticated pants. So uh, I've, I've dressed up, made a bit of an effort, put some makeup on just for you. Uh, I hope you are having a drink this afternoon. It's, uh, it's way past the it's, it's absolutely acceptable. It's ten past four, so do crack open the old beverages. Uh, I think, like, like most people during this time period, I've probably been using alcohol as a little bit of a support during the pandemic. Uh, I don't know how many drinks you allow yourself on those nights when you're not drinking. Uh, it's usually three or four for me. I think that's entirely acceptable. Uh, I'm, I, so cheers to you. Do raise a glass. Uh, I'm a wine drinker myself. Uh, I don't mean to brag here, but I'm a little bit of a connoisseur when it comes to the grape. Uh, I don't want to intimidate anybody straight off the bat here, but uh, I do know quite a thing or two about wine. My favourite wine, if I had to declare, would probably be the um, box. Big fan. Big fan of the box of wine. So cheers to you if you are enjoying a box of wine. People were very snobby about boxes of wine back in the day. Uh, if you turned up to a, a, a party or indeed a funeral with a box of wine, they'd often mention it. They'd say, I can't believe you brought a box, Zoe. I think you'll find a bottle's better. I was like, I think you'll find it isn't, mate. Look at that. It's structurally sound. Any alcohol I can build a wall out of, I'm ready and willing to invest time and energy in, quite frankly. The other thing I've learned during pandemic, and uh, this is a little tip to you, you can take this away from this afternoon. What I've learned about a box of wine is that it's your little secret. Nobody can tell how much you've had. Because the problem with a bottle is it's just a transparent betrayer of the truth, isn't it? It sits bolt upright on the table, absolutely see-through. People walk past and go, look, it's only, it's only opened it five minutes ago and it's only half empty. All I'm saying is you can't see through a five-litre cardboard box of wine. You're welcome. Sometimes I stick a little straw on the top, pretend it's a massive Ribena. You can have that. So, 
Uh, here we are in these unprecedented times. Well, the word unprecedented has been used an unprecedented amount of times, and I think we're perfectly within our rights now to punch anybody in the throat who, who mentions the word unprecedented again. We're all trying to get used to this new way of living, aren't we? New words that have come into our, into our being, you know, furlough, furlough. If you'd said to me 12 months ago, furlough, I'd have probably gone, oh, furlough. That, I think it's a medieval word that means to leave a part of the pasture fallow for a good 12 months to allow for it to be more fertile and a, a, produce a bumper harvest later in the year. Doesn't mean that at all, does it? We've learned that. We've learned that. And I'm, I'm self-employed. All, all comedians are self-employed. I haven't been able to be furloughed, so uh, I've had to start using it just around the house, if you will, uh, domestically, um, usually in the bedroom. Uh, so, sorry, darling, I'm going to have to furlough you this evening. Uh, it means I'm going to give about 60 to 80 percent of what I'd normally give, and you'll have to rely on the government to screw you the following 20 percent. What else have we learned during these times? We've all become spatially aware, haven't we? Much more spatially aware. The old two-metre rule, that's, that's really kicked in. We've all, we can all sort of march it out now. It's a, and I don't mean to be disparaging to the gentlemen uh, watching this this afternoon, but I have found that women are a lot better at adhering to the two-metre rule than men. And I, and I don't... I, men, it's not your fault. It really isn't, honestly. I think... I think what that is born out of is just years and years and years of trying to convince other people that that is six inches. So you spread that out, it's going to cause issues, obviously, isn't it? I've heard people arguing in supermarkets, just couples, you know, Maureen, that is definitely two metres. I've used my own yardstick to measure it. So I don't know what you've been doing with your time at home. Obviously, you know, maybe, maybe uh, homeschooling. Uh, I, I don't have children because I can't stand them uh, and uh, much rather go on a ski holiday. So, but congratulations if you have been homeschooling, uh, doing all of that sort of thing. Many people have used this time to improve themselves as people. That's what they've been doing, taking up new hobbies, etc. Uh, I myself, during lockdown one, uh, or L1, as I like to call it, because I'm hip with the kids, uh, during the summer last year, I started keeping bees. Um, yes, and you're right to be impressed. I can feel you coming through the television screens at me. You're right to be impressed. I started keeping bees. I got, um, I got one. Um, it got caught behind the window. And I thought, sod it, I'll keep that. Um, because they never stipulate how many you've got to have, do they? I mean, they, 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 technically, I'm a beekeeper. I mean, more accurately, I was the keeper of a bee, but I feel that was being picky. Uh, lockdown three, as we're now in, uh, I, uh, I've just decided to do something that I feel that I can actually achieve. Um, you know, I'm not going to set my goals too high. I've just decided to see how long I can grow my own body hair until we're all released. It's going quite well. I can do it literally in my sleep. For the older members of the audience, if I don't look like Demis Roussos by the time June comes around, I'll consider myself a failure. Because um, I live in Brighton and... Uh, well, of course I do. Uh, well, because old lesbians don't die, we just wash up in Brighton. That's what happens. None of us intend to move there. We just get carried away by a favourable tide and it's the buoyancy of our crocs that keep us afloat. So I have actually been sea swimming in Brighton, which is supposed to be very good for your immune system and, in fact, staves off dementia, which I find ironic because the last time I went in, I got so cold. I actually forgot what my feet felt like. So what I'm hoping is the full body hair come June, I'll look like one of those Canadian sea otters that you see on a David Attenborough programme, just floating off the coast of Hove, just smashing little sourdough rolls off my chest. It'll be marvellous, it really will. It's a, it's a lovely place to live, obviously. I'm very glad to live there. It's, it's, it's quite a hippy-dippy sort of a place. You know, it's got that sort of a feel to it. Uh, a lot of vegetarians. Um, I'm not a vegetarian. People always assume I am. I think it's the flatter shoe. It confuses people. I often keep people saying to me. I bet she loves a bean. I do, but not exclusively. But what I don't mind is the vegetarians and the vegans, good for them, good for them, doing, doing their bit for the planet. What is annoying me at the moment, and you will see it everywhere, in any supermarket you go into, there's an aisle now dedicated to vegan and vegetarian food. It's the vegan and vegetarian food that likes to base itself on meat-based products. No, I'm sorry. No, I know there's a lot to be angry about in the world right now, but that really gets my goat. Honestly, it does. Veggie sausage, veggie burgers. I just think, no, I'm sorry. If you don't want the meat, you can't have the shapes. I feel very strongly about this. I really do. Because you don't see us perfectly normal meat eaters squashing our meat into vegetable shapes, do you? That would be deemed ridiculous if I came skipping out of the kitchen going, look at that, Barbara, it's a beef sprout. Have a bash on that. Oh, you know, I've got some pork peas out the back. No, 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 no. I'm a big meat eater. Big meat. Big eater. A big eater. I hope, I hope you're having some snacks. 
There's some snacks along with your drinks this afternoon. That'd be nice. I, I'm looking forward to restaurants reopening. I really am. I, I miss a restaurant. I, I, I like eating with friends. Um, not a sharer. Not a sharer. That's getting worse as I get older. Um, it's a sort of a territorial thing. I don't know if anybody else watching this... Uh, does anybody else panic in a tapas situation? That's the sort of diner I am. Uh, if you go out for a meal and somebody has... Should we just order a couple of little bits and share it? I'm like, should we just not? Should we just order what we want and then eat what we want? Why have you brought anxiety to this situation? Never attempt to eat tapas with me. That's all I'm saying, you know, could happen. Stranger things have happened, haven't they? Look where we are now, ha, 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 you know. 12 months ago, somebody did something unspeakable to a bat in a wet market in Wahin. Now you're queuing for 45 minutes in the rain to get into a post office. So it could happen. Um, I'm just saying, don't attempt to eat tapas with me because you will lose. You will lose. You will lose and then you will cry when I make you split the bill because that will be happening. Um, I genuinely don't care how much you've eaten. It usually means when I go out for a meal, there's one woman just weeping, looking at me going, why am I having to pay 53 quid? So I only had an olive. I'm like, well, you had the same chances as me, darling. You just didn't take them, that's all. The windows of opportunity were wide open to everybody around this table. You decided to talk through them. You were talking about this and talking about that. How it was your special day? It was your birthday. I was shoveling in the meatballs, getting my money's worth. Not proud of this, but I vividly remember it. The last lunch I went out for prior to lockdown, I, I managed to eat so much. I got up to leave. I went outside. I put my sunglasses on. I thought, crikey, they feel tight. You know you've overdone it if you're having to loosen the arms of your own glasses. So we're here to celebrate you and all things digital. And, and I think we've all become aware of how important technology and the digital platforms are to us in this world that we're living in currently. I mean, if it wasn't for Facebook, I would have had no idea that so many of my friends and family members were experts on the pros and cons of vaccines. Who knew? I didn't. I'll be having the vaccine, of course. Uh, of course I will, as soon as I can. As soon as my category comes up, I'll be having it. I won't tell anybody I've had it, because uh, I quite like nobody hugging me at the moment, so that's quite handy. It is quite handy. What else have we been using technology for? Delivery? So many deliveries. So many powered by technology, you know, and, and the digital platforms. Uh, doesn't always work, obviously. I saw, a, I saw a little Deliveroo man knocked off his bike recently where I live. Um, he was all right. Uh, his bike was a little bit mangled. I can tell you the, the Deliveroo logo doesn't look quite so jolly on its side in the middle of a busy junction either, um, spewing out half a Cantonese takeaway. But all my mind could think seeing that very modern day tableau in front of me was, well, now, obviously, in the Brighton and Hove area, there's, there's a couple sitting somewhere on a sofa, undoubtedly wearing matching active wear, just looking at a stationary blue dot on an iPad like that. Well, that's not moving, that, is it? Well, he's eaten that, hasn't he? He's eaten it. He's eaten it. You know, what else have we used it for? Track and trace. Track and trace we've used it for during the pandemic to, to locate people who are a little bit riddled. Um, we didn't need that where I live. Uh, we've just got a lady called Trace who lives next door who's a really nosy cow. So she just informed everybody where you'd been. It was a lot cheaper and, uh, and sort of worked. Um, I did actually have my credit card details stolen during this, this last lockdown. That was an interesting thing to go online and discover that somebody had been using my credit card. Prior to lockdown, that would have been an administrative pain in the backside. During lockdown, there was a bit of my brain that went, good for them. Good for them. It's nice to see that somebody's having some fun with my money. It really is. It really, really is. And I miss travelling. I miss travelling. I look forward to going back to travelling. You know, now, obviously, when you travel in or out of the United Kingdom, you've got to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks. As a stand-up comedian, I've stayed in some budget hotels in this country where you have to quarantine for two weeks when you leave them. So that's, that's a change of events. The sort of place we've all stayed in them, haven't we? The sort of place where the walls are so thin you can hear what the next people in the room are thinking. The sort of place where you go into the bathroom now and they have the hair and body wash in the same bathroom. Bottle. And you think, when did that become one job? That's two, that's two separate things, isn't it, surely? Hair and body wash. No. It's like me washing my knickers in a dishwasher. They'll get clean, but it's not right. And I, I look forward to going back to travelling. I do. It's, uh, I have to admit, at my age, I, I was getting a little nervous travelling. Uh, uh, the last flight I was on, I tried to find a seat on the plane. I was walking down the aisle, and it was a budget airline, of course. Um, and uh, I noticed they didn't have a row 13, so I thought I'd better point it out to one of the stewardesses. I, I said to her, excuse me, darling, we're, we're missing a row. It goes 12, 14. And she turned to me, and she said, uh, no, that's deliberate. 
I said, why is that deliberate? He said, well, people don't like to sit in row 13. Now, I'm no aviation expert, but I've done a little bit of flying and I've pretty much figured out all by myself. It really doesn't matter where you sit on a plane, does it? I mean, d d d tell me if I'm overthinking this, but I thought it was basic physics, you know. I thought if they went down, we all went down. I, I thought that's how it worked. Personally, I've never been on a plane before, quite merrily at 33,000 feet with a very large gin and tonic and a packet of peanuts and all of a sudden, out of the blue, inexplicably, row 13. Seats A to F has plummeted through the fuselage, yet everybody else has managed to carry on quite miraculously. There is a little part of my brain that would enjoy seeing that, I think, just, you know. I don't know people, people in row 12 would be, oh, my God, they'd be like, oh, my God, that was lucky, wasn't it? Look at that, it's gone. People in 14, look at that, leg room, brilliant. Anyway, so, my friends, all I want you to do is sit back, relax, enjoy your afternoon, because we're here to celebrate you. Join in on the chat. I did watch the little video on how to do that. It seems really complex, but you know, you, you're intelligent people. You could probably fire up the Hadron Collider with one eye shut, so I'm sure you'll, you'll survive and manage it. Uh, we're here to celebrate you and your achievements and your colleagues, etc. So raise a glass to yourselves and uh, let us get on with why we're all here. Let us start the awards. Our first award this afternoon is for Best Digital Awards event and is sponsored by EFX, producers of unique awards and trophies. So we should have all of our finalists uh, for our first award with us now via our live link. There they are. Look at that. Very brave choice of shirt there, Adam. I'm enjoying that marvellously. In fact, you've all scrubbed up very well. Hard rock, bit of casual there at the bottom. Well done, you. Uh, I'm going to pass you over to our voice of God for the afternoon, Paul Rose, to tell us who these lovely people are on the screen. And if you could give us a wave and Paul calls out your name, then we'll know who you are. And that would be amazing. Over to you, Paul. Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are British Book Awards by the bookseller Silverstream TV and H2, EGR Operator Virtual Awards by Pageant Media, Emerging Payments Awards by 73 Media, IR Magazine Awards US 2020 by IR Magazine, Pent Awards by Easy Fares, The Comms National Awards by BPL Business Media. World Retail Awards by Essential and Showcase and World's First Virtual Green Carpet Fashion Awards from EcoAge and Pulse Films. Thank you so much, Paul. Clearly a lot of strong entries in this category. So much so that our judges have awarded a highly commended to one of our finalists. So congratulations go to EGR Operator Virtual Awards by Pageant Media. Well done, you. <laughs> to announce our first winner this afternoon and first ever winner of a digital event award, please welcome Holly McLeish, Creative Director from EFX, to tell us who is taking away the title. Hello, EFX are proud to be sponsoring and making the trophies for the Digital Events Awards. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Best Digital Awards event is... Emerging Payments by 73 Media. Congratulations to everyone involved. Our judges said the awards produced excellent dwell time and engagement with lots of wow and some impressive profit results. The numbers stack up across the board. Our second award this afternoon is for Best Audience Engagement Model and is sponsored by the digital experience platform On24. So, Paul, who are our finalists here? Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are Hashtag Make It Blue by Make It Blue, ACT's Not the Annual Dinner by the Association of Corporate Treasurers, the Event Freelancer Summit by Connected, and the Virtual Forum Brand by Forum Events. Thank you very much, Paul. And to announce the winner, please welcome Emily Smith, Marketing Director of EMEA for ON24. Good afternoon, everyone. ON24 is proud to be sponsoring the inaugural Digital Event Awards. Many congratulations to those nominated and tonight's winners. The winner for the best audience engagement model is... ACT's Not That Annual Dinner by the Association of Corporate Treasurers. Many congratulations. Our 
Judges said the team produced some really novel and very difficult to manage techniques here, including live catering with virtual networking and continuously moving people around the event in small groups. Many congratulations to them. Our next award this afternoon is for the best digital event marketing campaign and is sponsored by Cirque Data. Paul, let us know who made it onto our finalist list here. Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are Big Data and AI World Frankfurt 2020 by Closer Still Media, Guidelines Live 2020 by MGP Limited, Lost Horizon Festival by Lost Horizon, and Top Draw on Demand by Clarion Events. A solid group of finalists there. Thank you, Paul. In this category, our judges have awarded the highly commended. So congratulations go to Guidelines Live 2020 by MGP Limited. <laughs> to announce the winner for the best digital event marketing campaign, please welcome Chris Clipston, Managing Director of Cirque Data. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the best digital event marketing campaign is Top Draw On Demand from Clarion Events. Well done. The judges said the campaign showed forethought through seasonal activity, as well as creativity, which resulted in excellent metrics. Well done. A case study in excellent practice for the exhibitions industry and enabling community building around an event. It was data driven, underpinned by research, but highly creative. So now we move on to the best digital festival. Who made it onto our main stage, Paul? Our finalists are... FT Weekend Festival by the FT, Lost Horizon Festival by Lost Horizon, and Open Banking Expo Digifest by Borough Bench Media. Thank you very much, Paul. I am very pleased to announce Lost Horizon Festival by Lost Horizon are our winners. Well done. Judges said this was an impressive transition of a live experience into the digital world and one that seems set to stay for the long term. A high profile and bold VR launch, 4.36 million people, 35 times the physical event amount with a pay what you want e-ticket and great lineup. Well done to them. I like the idea of a digital festival. I suppose you have to queue up for a digital toilet at some point during that. So we're on to award number five, and it's for best live streaming experience. Surely it's this. Again, we should have all of our finalists with us via our live link. There they are, looking jolly. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Good to see you. Lovely, lovely. Paul, tell us who these lovely people are, and if you guys could give us a wave when we call out your names, that would be brilliant. Our finalists are... Digital Transformation World Series by TM Forum. EMEA Marketing Summit by Facebook and We Are Family London. Global Summit 2021 by FESPA. SIG 2020 by Esri France and Event Maker. Lock In Live by William Grant & Sons Brands and ACA Live. New York Evening Auction by Sotheby's and Anna Valley. Nudge Stock 2020 by Ogilvy Consulting and Kinura and Virtual Experience 2020 by Team and Latte MKT. Thank you so much, Paula. A highly contended category here and I'm pleased to announce that our winners are New York Evening Auction by Sotheby's and Anna Valley. said this had amazing viewership statistics and good technical collaboration. Great use of audio and comms with a very nice case study video. This entry was innovative, awesome and cool. I suspect that this will completely disrupt the existing Sotheby's business model. Awesome and cool. They're surely describing you there, Paul. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Next, we have the award for the best digital participation event, and it's sponsored by iVent, creating and delivering engaging virtual events. Paul, who are our finalists? Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are IAA PAC 2020 by the Digital, Vo digital Voice and SIG 2020 by Esri France and Event Maker.
Thank you so much, Paul. And to announce the winner for Best Digital Participation Event, please welcome Gavin Newman, CEO of iVent. Hello, my name is Gavin Newman. I am CEO of iVent, a virtual event company, and I'm absolutely delighted to be one of the sponsors of the inaugural Digital Event Awards for 2021, and also the sponsor of this category, the Best Digital Participation Event. OK, we have a nice shiny gold envelope here with the winner's name in it, which I shall reveal now. So drum roll, silence in the audience. The winner of best digital participation event goes to. Uh, this is great news. It is SIG 2020 by Esri Franz and Eventmaker. Well done, guys. Thoroughly deserved. Fantastic piece of work. OK, well done and enjoy the rest of the event. The judges said this was a great example of extending event agenda for global audiences. A wide mix of media types and engaging content and packaged in a consumable entertainment format. The interactive TV show. And now on to Best Digital Event Production Company. I understand this category has quite a few finalists, Paul, so who are they? It does indeed. Our finalists are 73 Media, Brand Fuel, Collaborate Global, GDS Group, H2 Business Communication, Launch Interactions, M Integrated Solutions, Showcase, Silverstream TV and Storm Events. Wow, I wasn't wrong, was I? Quite a long, of a long list of finalists there. I am pleased to announce a highly commended for this category has been awarded to 73 Media. <laughs> but as the old saying goes, there can only be one winner and they are GDS Group. Well done. Judges said GDS were clearly set out on demonstrating a broad range of services they have delivered and clear metrics to support the results. They have taken an innovative approach to the challenge and developed a clear offering that's compelling and engaging. The importance of creative style, content and audience relevance was as important as technology and this made it the strongest submission. So we are moving swiftly on and we have best digital product launch. And I can imagine this is a pretty tough to translate across when you're used to seeing products in the flesh. This category is sponsored by brand activation specialist Collaborate Global. And Paul, who are our finalists, please? Our finalists are Dreams In, Prints Out by Xerox and M Integrated Solutions. Future Surgery Virtual Event by Closer Still Media. Life Unstoppable by Samsung and Smile. Mocha Virtual Product Launch by Vauxhall and Strata Create. The TV360 Takeover by Virgin Media and Audience. And Virtual Booth Tour by Circus and Ellison. Thanks so much, Paul. And to announce the winner for the Best Digital Product Launch, please welcome Ollie Biddle, Marketing Content Manager from Collaborate Global. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ollie here from Collaborate Global. I really hope that you are enjoying the event. I just want to kick off today by saying what an absolute honour it is to sponsor such an amazing category within the Digital Event Awards. To think back over what has been done in the last 12 months in this space is absolutely incredible. Now, the shortlist for this category, the digital product launch, was amazing. The bar was set incredibly high but there could only be one. Now, I have the winner in this envelope here. So without further ado, the winner for the best digital product launch is... <laughs> it's Life Unstoppable by Samsung and Smart. Congratulations to you for winning the best digital product launch within the Digital Event Awards. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. The judges said they really liked the concept of this event and creative inclusions, including the slam poetry, gamification, and delivered boxes to really level up the virtual experience and take it offline too. 
Considering the brand and event is about innovation, they certainly had many innovative and exciting concepts. The use of influencers and thought leaders is also really impressive. I like to consider myself a little bit of a thought leader. Our next highly contested category is for the best webinar series. Our finalists in this award are with us via the live link. Uh, give us a wave when we call out your event. There we are. Lovely. Some varying backdrops, varying backdrops. Uh, lovely to see you there. Quite a high beard content in this category. Uh, Paul, who are we looking at? We are looking at Action Webinar Series by Future Build. Best Practice in Conversation With by Closer Still Media, Acute and General Medicine Summer E-Series by Closer Still Media, UK Digital Event 2020 Webinar Series by Project Management Institute, Vet Show Autumn Series by Closer Still Media, Diabetes Professional Care by Closer Still Media, Hotel Designs Live by Forum Events, and National Sales Conference Webinar Series by Lincoln West. Thanks, Paul. Great to see them all there. For this category, our judges have awarded the highly commended, and that goes to UK Digital Event 2020 Webinar Series, Project Management Institute. <laughs> Congratulations to them. And so on to our winner then, and I am pleased to announce that the winner is of, of Best Webinar Series is Diabetes Professional Care by Closer Still Media. The judges said there was an unbelievable number of questions asked. Clearly, a highly engaged group of attendees. I especially like that sponsors were not able to influence the content, making sure it remained relevant and educational rather than sales pitches. Great use of social platforms to carry on engagement and broaden each. Reach, sorry. They developed a whole new audience through the services, hence the engagement was excellent. Fantastic. Well done to them. Some say webinar, some say webinar. I like to bring a European flair to it. Now we move on to our best digital training series. Uh, who are our finalists here, Paul? Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are Going Social Series by Hive Group, Lockdown Webinars by the Square Meter Group and Layered Development Programme by the Rego Group. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Paul. I am pleased to announce that Lockdown Webinar by the Square Meter Group are our winners. Well done. Judges said, incredible numbers and the breadth of the reach, managing to engage with attendees on a truly international scale really does speak to the power of digital events. I especially like the way these webinars try to help people grow their networks. I'm sure this was a great benefit to attendees and as event organisers trying to replicate live experiences, it's encouraging to see what's possible in the digital environment. So, award 11 is for best standalone webinar. Paul, tell us who our finalists are again. Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are Ahead Global by Sleeper Media and Silverstream TV H2, Glaucoma Fest by Santen and Touch Associates, and the 2020 IET President's Address by the Institute of Engineering and Technology. Excellent stuff. And our standalone winner here is. Ahead Global by Sleeper Media and Silverstream TV H2. Well done, you. This was a pioneering, impressive, innovative result, producing a sustainable format beyond the pandemic. I love the complete reinvention, inviting viewers into the behind the scenes of the judging process in true broadcast spirit. This clever result was no doubt down to a collaborative mesh of highly skilled but also technically astute team members working tirelessly behind the scenes to create something original and engaging. A great example of what is possible when you decide that the show must go on. Very well done. And the show must go on indeed. We are halfway through, over halfway through now, so probably a good time to sort of top up the pretzels and pour yourself another drinky poo-poo. It's, uh, oh, it, we're well into the drinking hour at this moment. Uh, all, uh, well done to everybody who's been uh, nominated and received awards so far. We are on towards uh, award 12. Our next award is for the best technology platform and is sponsored by the event site. And Paul will let us know who our finalists are. I certainly will. They are As Live, Cirque Data Fusion, Events Air on Air Solution, 
Expo Platform, Grip Events, iVent, Show Shopper, Swap Card, VII Events, and Vertway Events. A great group of finalists there. Thank you, Paul. In this category, our judges have awarded the highly commended. So congratulations go to Expo Platform. But to announce the winner for Best Technology Platform, please welcome James Cook Priest, founder of Eventsight. Hi everyone, and welcome to another day in digital paradise. Hats off and a big thanks to Duncan and the MASH Media team for launching these inaugural digital event awards and for their continued support of the industry. It really is fantastic to be recognising all those who acted so swiftly to the constraints imposed on us over the last year. Even though we're not able to share a few drinks together in a random venue with the obligatory chicken or beef and questionable house wine. The event site is very proud to be sponsoring the best technology platform category. And I will now leave you in a clunky suspense while Dan edits in the winner. And the winner is Swapcard. So congratulations Swapcard team. Enjoy the after party and don't forget to register on the eventsite.co.uk. Our judges said Swapcard were the clear contenders as one of the best platforms. With strong investment and also easy to understand, the platform is well supported by event organisers. They adapted well at the start of the crisis to make the platform better. The existing functionality is impressive, as is their roadmap. And onwards we go. Award 13 now, and we look at the best venues offering digital event facilities. Who have we got in this category, Paul? Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are ICC Belfast, Waterfront Hall, Ulster Hall and Pixel, in partnership with John Henry's. OK, so it's got to be one or other of them. At least if you don't win this, you know you, you came second. Uh, our winner is Pixel, in partnership with John Henry's. Congratulations. <laughs> Judges said a bang up to date full multi platform option giving clients everything and more that they need. The way they adapted and the overall offering is in a different league. So, up next is best digital exhibition. Obviously, a fair amount of pivoting requires here to deliver these. I'm pleased to announce that this category is sponsored by Showcase, delivering creative experiences. Our finalists are here with us. There they are. Hello. Give us a big smile. Lovely. Quite a cluttered desk there. That's impressive at the top and some sort of swag going on here. I think. Oh, look, that's wow. That <laughs> took me by surprise. It nearly took my finger off. Uh, <laughs> Paul, tell us who we're looking at here okay. and who that man was, because he startled me. And uh, give us a wave when you hear your event being called out. He's gone again. <laughs> there are. he is. He's back again. Oh, he's back. Hello. He's back. He's back again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell them who they are. They are Connection by the Virtual Event Company, Futurescape Virtual 2020 by LJ's 44. RCNI Virtual Nursing Careers and Jobs Fair by RCNI. Reset 2021 by Brand Fuel. The National Landlord Investment Show Online by National Landlord Investment Show. The Schools and Academies Show by Govnet Communications. Utility Week Live Online by Faversham House. Virtual Boot Tour by Circus and Ellison. And Zukunft Personal Europe Virtual by Closer Still Media. Well, that is quite a lineup. Um, the judges found it very difficult here to pick a winner and have awarded a highly commended. And that goes to Zukunft Personal Europe Virtual by Closer Still Media. Well done to you. <laughs> but to announce the winner. To announce the winner, please welcome Ben Collings, Managing Director of Showcase, to, take, to tell us who's taking away the title. Good afternoon, everyone. Showcase are proud to be sponsoring the inaugural Digital Event Awards. I am pleased to announce the winner of the Best Digital Exhibition. The winner is Connections by the Virtual Event Company. Congratulations to all. stats for this event, but importantly the brand visibility for exhibitors in this 3D exhibition creation. Using avatars for networking interaction with other like-minded delegates and exhibitors was a great tool. Good to see tiered booth offerings driving impressive financial ratios. 
So best digital event revenue model is our next category. I have no idea what that is. I presume you at home do. Paul, who was able to best generate a revenue model at their digital events? I'll tell you, they are Diabetes Professional Care by Closer Still Media and Red Ken Symposium, the virtual connection by Wolf and White. So Closer Still or Wolf and White then? I can tell you our winner is Diabetes Professional Care by Closer Still Media. Very many congratulations. By focusing on sponsor value through a programme of sponsor-delivered content, not only did Diabetes Professional Care almost double its revenue target, it also secured the future of the event with a digital revenue model that delivered both ROI and engagement for those stakeholders who now see the potential for future years, whether online, in person or a hybrid version. Thanks, Paul. Award 16 is Best Digital Fundraising Event, and we've got six finalists in this category here. Who are they? Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are a, dro a, excuse me, a Dog's Trail launch by Dog's Trust and Showcase, a Starry Night by Ronald McDonald House Charity and Silver String TV, BGC Virtual Charity Day 2020 by Brand Fuel. Istanbul Backgammon Tournament by Atoll. Specsavers Scottish Music Awards 2020 by Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy. And The Ultimate Dinner Party by Teenage Cancer Trust and iVent. A great group of finalists there. Thank you very much, Paul. In this category, our judges have once again awarded a highly commended. So congratulations go to Specsavers Scottish Music Awards 2020 by Nordoff Robbins. Well done. <laughs> And our winner in this category is BGC Virtual Charity Day 2020 by Brand Fuel. Well done, you. Our judges said this was a really nice pivot from a physical to digital event. Retaining the interest and commitment of A-list celebrities and running the event so seamlessly was a credit to the client. The money raised and the praise given in the supporting video material goes to show what a fantastic entry this is. Well done, Brand Fuel. Well done indeed, Brand Fuel. And up next is Best Digital Internal Communications Event. We've got our finalists here waiting in the wings. Hello, finalists waiting in the wings. Look at that lovely faces there. Marvellous. Is that... Am I seeing a dog down there? Is that it? Is it is a dog? It is a dog. Oh, anything can happen in 2020, 2021, can't it? We've got a dog at the awards. That's brilliant. Again, Paul, tell us who these lovely people are, including the dog, please. And uh, and people, when you hear your name, please give us a wave. It's a dog in a party hat. Yes, yes, but it's a party true. environment. Of course, it's in a Indeed party it hat. Is. Let's party with these people. They are Digital Transformation World Series by TM Forum and Common Ground Creative. Festival of Culture by Skipton Building Society and Simply Better. Product Launch Summit by Roche and the Creative Engagement Group. Rethink Festival by BDO with Fusion and White Light. Rise Up 360 Rally and Academy by Roche and the Creative Engagement Group. The Inspire Awards by JTI and Ignis. Virtual Peak 2020 by Dixon's Carphone and The Fresh Group. And Virtual Town Halls by the Institution of Engineering and Technology. And it's another category where our judges have awarded a highly commended, and this time it goes to Festival of Culture by Skipton Building Society and Simply Better. Well done. <laughs> and the winner of this category is Product Launch Summit by Roach and the Creative Engagement Group. Congratulations. <laughs> This event had a clear sense of direction and a strong story. They knew what they were trying to achieve and they were successful in delivering this. Linking the event to the product and bringing a theme of energy into the event was clever and it paid off. The event was designed with the attendee in mind as they had a say in the content that was delivered. It is a smaller event than the others, however it reached its goals and connected 66% more participants than they would have done at the live show. The feedback from the attendees was very positive and the tribe's idea worked out well. 
So up now is best sponsorship delivery and fulfillment model. And Paul is here again to tell us who we are looking at in the finalists. Thank you, Zoe. Our finalists are Big Data and AI World Frankfurt 2020 online by Closer Still Media, Finance and Sport Conference by Premier Sports Network and Global Digital Summit Series by the FT. OK, our winner in this category is... Finance in Sport Conference by Premier Sports Network. Well done to you. Great initiative and gutsy remodelling of event concept to pivot online as intimate roundtable sessions, offering more value in terms of meaningful networking to service providers. I love the scientific approach to evaluating the opportunity in the live setting compared to the virtual environment, showing a great understanding of what your sponsors value and attempting to deliver more to them online. Impressive post-event follow-up going above and beyond to make personal introductions. OK, so there are two awards to go after our next category, which is for Best Digital Equality Event or Series. I'm pleased to announce that the online event platform Skooks.co is sponsoring this category. And Paul is going to tell us who our finalists are here. Thank you, Zoe. They are Hashtag YouTube Black, Black History Month and Beyond by YouTube. International Holocaust Remembrance Day 2021 by Jewish Holocaust Centre. TikTok Black History Month series by Pixel and Women in Biotech by the Bio Industry Association. Thank you, Paul. And to tell us who our winner is, please welcome Dr. Rene Bonsack from Skooks.co. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rene Bonsack. I'm the founder of Skooks, and we're very, very pleased to be sponsoring the inaugural Digital Event Awards. And it's my pleasure to announce today the award for the best equality event or series and now let me have a look into this envelope so the winner is youtube congratulations youtube wins with black history months well done <laughs> Judges said this was an inclusive program which took its lead from its target audience and produced a great variety of highly successful touch points. Demonstrated success with impressive numbers and reach. I particularly like the fact it has inspired a continued embedding of content and activity for the black creative community and reached out beyond to all creators, making an integrated offering. Embraced digital to the full and created unique experiences and content over a longer time frame than normal. An excellent entry. And so our penultimate award now for best digital conference production budgets at less than £5,000. And this category is sponsored by Vertway Events, your home of 3D virtual events. All our finalists are eagerly awaiting. Here they are. Marvellous. Hello, my friends. Little wave. Hi. Um, uh, Paul, are you going to tell us who these beautiful people are? I certainly am. I hope they'll give us a wave when I call their name too. They are CPC 2020 Live by Closer Still Media, Emergency Response Tech Forum, Global Pandemic by Mesa Frankfurt Middle East, Evolve, the virtual event for planners by Swapcard, Game Changers Live by Future Build, Shine Connect 2020 by the Turner Agency, Sustainovation by Shelton Fleming and the LCN Conference by Wolf and White. Awesome. And to tell us who our winner is, please welcome Danielle McConnell, Marketing Director from Virtway Events. Good afternoon, everyone. Virtway Events is honoured to be here sponsoring the inaugural Digital Event Awards. I am pleased to announce the winner of Best Digital Conference with production level less than £5,000 is CDC 2020 Live by Closer Still Media. Impressive results in just 10 weeks, 62% new contacts, healthy sponsorship revenues and great feedback both from delegates and sponsors. A fantastic all-round success. Delivery, engagement, feedback, sponsor fulfilment and satisfaction. So 
So here we are. It's our final award of this afternoon. If you haven't already, top up those drinks one final time uh, for, our, for our last award. It is for the best digital conference production budget over £5,000 and is sponsored by Visions. Here are our finalists. Uh, they've had a long time waiting. So, uh, Paul, let's find out who made the shortlist. Thank you, Zoe. Our final finalists are Betfest by Hive Group. Dell Technologies Forum 2020 by Wave Marketing and Communications. DevLearn Digital Experience by Closer Still Media. Diabetes Professional Care by Closer Still Media. Digital Transformation World Series by TM Forum. Dreams In Prints Out by Xerox and M Integrated Solutions. EA Masters by Property Academy. Pension Bridge, the annual Virtual Week 2020 by Pageant Media. Red Ken Symposium, The Virtual Connection by Wolf and White, and The Global Boardroom Second Edition, Shaping the Recovery by the FT. Well, not quite the short list I thought it was going to be there. It's quite a long list. Uh, clearly a difficult decision to get to this list, and no surprise that with this many strong entries, our judges had to award a highly commended award. And that goes to... Redkin Symposium, The Virtual Connection by Wolf and White. So many congratulations. <laughs> to announce our final winner this afternoon, please welcome project manager Sarah Hamilton from Visions. Sarah, who's going to take home this final nod. Good afternoon, everyone. Visions are proud to be sponsoring this award as part of the inaugural Digital Event Awards. Congratulations to all the nominees. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the best digital conference with a production budget of over £5,000 is... The Digital Transformation Series by TM Forum. Well done. Judges said this was an ambitious project run over a six-week period, resulting in increased seniority and attendance from core industry niches. High-quality production values drove new business in addition to converting existing into digital high-quality production. This is a really solid and high-end production. So that's it. What a fabulous afternoon of awards. Congratulations to all of our finalists and, of course, to our winners for their outstanding performances over this last year. I'm going to hand you back now to Martin Fullard and for some closing words. But thanks so much for having me, and I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Thank you very much, Zoe. And can I say expertly moderated? I'm going to ask everyone to give her a round of applause, but we, you and I are just going to have to assume. I'm just going to have to assume it's it. there. I, I always assume, assume it's doing. there. Absolutely. No, no. Zoe, seriously, thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. And I wanted to close this inaugural event, which I think has been rather successful, by just paying some tribute to those who have helped make it happen. So thanks to our headline sponsors, Showcase, iEvent, Collaborate Global and Cirque Data. And, of course, we've got some event sponsors to thank as well. EFX, the event site, skooks.co, Visions Group, Vertway Events and On24. Without you all, this wouldn't be happening. Of course, it wouldn't be happening if we didn't have Aztec Live, thank you for sharing with us this fantastic studio and for taking care of all the production. Finally, a big thanks to Avesio and the Awards Room for hosting us on their exceptional platform. Do be sure to stick around and network more. Of course, stay up to date with all of us and stay in touch at Digital Event News and MASH Media and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you and good afternoon. <laughs>